you have to say to the end of the poem, damn, that girl is beautiful. Well, the first words that I say when I lay my eyes are in first grade. When she stood from her desk to take her turn to read the story, the second the teacher called her name, all the boys in the back row would snap out of their slumber just to take a glance and see. Because this was not just any random girl standing in the front, this was the beauty queen, Melanie. The only girl who made the class feel as cold as the Arctic Circle. Cold enough to draw to her the attention of her fellow feminine friends. Like a chill Eskimo with no choice but to face the fire, they would stare at too, because she was fire. They took a girl from the South Pole. And with me from the North Pole waking me from my sleep, wondering why the guys in the back row are keenly facing the front, so I turned my head immediately and it's a magnetic reaction. I'm attracted instantly. Oh, wow. How much are they against it? And it didn't need to take friends first, let's take it slow to know that I had fallen for her. Black chocolate skin, brown little thick lips, I couldn't resist. To know how she always twisted her hair before she raised her hand to speak. How she never forgot to pull out a special pink cloth to wipe her best friend's photo spirit before she took a sip to try and guess what juice she had carried that day. Our favorite activity in primary school was to mix the primary colors to form secondary colors, and now we were in secondary school. <laughs> but then he had a new shoe. But no matter how that shoe shined, it never seemed to outshine the lip gloss glow and in his lips. We yeah, are now grown big hips. <laughs> and this brightly colored personality, she was a walking rainbow that seemed to be straight, but now curved at his lower waist. <laughs> Aside that sunshine. Secondary school dawn, the beginning of a storm. Of her perfect, beautiful black sisters, poised by the pretentious beauty of bleaching their skins and applying lightning creams. It was actually funny when her best friend was nicknamed Clara Black, because her skin was dark as night, shifted to the other side of the spectrum, and now became Clara Light. Yeah! Melanie stood strong against the fight. For her right to let her skin continue to glow that beautiful black light, and finally somebody started showing me the green light. We had now started taking walks and holding hands, and our favorite walk was a walk into the school garden. And she liked it so much because its sides were filled with brightly colored petals that would always cheer up when she was sad. And I never denied that that walk to the school garden because it was my favorite part too, you see. When she bent down to smell those flowers and gave me that rear view, woo! And second, my walls were hard and filled with water, you need to sprinkle water into her garden. But like a queen, she always silently commanded her boundaries, because to me, she was like royalty. And now, we're in university. We knew it responsibility. Countless books and assignments clouded my PC. Academic stress and pressure, will I have enough time to write some poetry? The bad news is, my sweet Melanie had gone and everything fell to a range. But the good news is, she came back and in three weeks everything had changed. Don't go with those lonely days when life looked like watching a boring movie in black and white. But she came into my life and gave me sharp, straight to the point words of advice that pierced through my soft doubt like a knife. Leaving me fantasizing of the day I'll finally bend the knee and make her my wife. Gave me a reason to walk through the streets with a bright smile because she had it. Color, Tuma, life and honesty. Honestly, I'd always wanted to take Melanie out for a date, but I was broke. But no hustle, no hustle. Why stress when you can even go back to my place and have a chat? And I can make you a nice, warm cup of tea. See, she always frustrates me when she texts, I love you, but never forget to add the best tea. But it's okay. It's okay. Because I'm almost done writing the poem that will change that best tea to baby, and I don't care. I don't care about how to travel to the Shaolin temples to master my chi just to capture this queen. And she's the reason why you've always had that beautiful skin. Thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. This poem was titled, My African Queen.